This video is sponsored by Bespoke Post. Oh, I'm back, baby. I'm back. Let's do this. Come on. What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku and today we're out on the surf. I'm back out fishing. Heck yeah, finally man. It's been so long. Actually, I tried to make this video the past two days. Didn't go so well. So I'm out here again trying to make this episode my comeback video. I'm fishing for striped bass today and I have this uh, Kalissa Super Glow Sardine. This lure has been the hype the past year or so, I feel like. And a lot of people are using it now. And it's like they're catching too. So I'm kind of curious about it myself. I'm going to try it out today and see if I can get on a striper. Well, let's just get started. There's an obvious hole just right behind me here. First cast, baby, first cast, let's go. Here we go, here we go. So let me tell you guys my setup for today. I have my brand new 10 foot dark matter OB surf rod with my Shimano Sahara 2500, which has a 15 pound braid main line and a 12 pound fluorocarbon leader. And I'm using a Kalissa Super Glow Sardine as my lure. Let's see what we can get. Check this out, this is a hole just right in front of me, right here. So I can just cast it literally right here. This thing casts really well. Come on. There we go. Striped bass, baby. 
Oh yeah. Come on. I can feel that one coming. Felt that one coming. Heck yeah. Come on in. I got pretty light tackle on. 15 pound test, main line, and 12 pound braid, or 12 pound leader. It's not huge, but it's nice. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. First 20 minutes, maybe a little less, 15 minutes. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Let's go, let's go. Come on in, come on in, he's right here. Come on in. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Woo. Woo. <laughs> Come on, come on. You gotta ease him in. There he is, baby. There he is. There he is. There he is. Barely hooked, barely hooked. Barely hooked. Oh. He's barely hooked. Yeah. Whoa, there it is. Oh yeah. Oh, look at this guy, he's barely hooked. Look at that little, little tiny bit. All right, let's measure him out. He's definitely a keeper. So there's a size limit for striped bass in California and that's 18 inches is the minimum size limit. Let me guess what this guy is. About 24. Let's give him a rough measure. Yeah, right at 24. Nice, got a fat belly. Oh man. <laughs> oh, that feels good. That feels freaking good. Oh, heck yeah, I'm gonna just take him out of his misery, bleed him out, and uh, we'll keep fishing. I think an important thing to know if you're gonna be harvesting your own fish is how to dispatch, right? Or where to dispatch. So they have a brain. Every fish has a brain. It's a little tiny brain. So where the brain is located is right above the eye, straight back, and in line with this little there's a line right there. So with this and this, where those two meet, so right about here is where the brain is. All right, so now you just gotta stab him and uh, dispatch him, put him out of his misery. And I think that's an important thing to know if you're gonna be harvesting your own fish. So it's gonna be a little graphic, but um, I think you should, I think you should see it. So right there. And you know, cause he does that twitch and you can kind of wiggle it around. Make sure, make sure you got it and he's out. And now you can cut the gills. All you have to do is puncture that, this little membrane there. Turn them around, do it the same to the other side, right there. And now just put them in the bucket. There you go. Well, I'm gonna put it over here. Safekeeping. Heck yeah, man. Literally within 15 minutes, I got him. Yeah. Yes, yes. Check this out. Okay, that was on that super sardine glow. They come with stock treble hooks, but I changed it out for these single much stronger hooks. Woo! I got him, I got him, got him. Catch and cook, here we go, we're back at it. Back with the catch and cook, yes! Now I'm gonna try this one. This is also a Kalissa, same company, but this one is the nuclear pink color that they have. 
all white it's glow in the dark and then pink on the bottom uh, if you guys want any of these lures if you guys are interested i have an affiliate account with them so you get 10 percent off your order and uh yeah i'll leave a link in the description below if you guys are interested in these lures so far you know yeah it's it's performed well and that retrieve i was doing pretty slow it was a little slow retrieve with a little twitch in between and then that guy hit i kind of felt it too the water got calm and i was just slowly retrieving twitch twitch and bam just like that finally i get to do a catch and cook i was getting tired of my balcony chef life to be honest i'm probably still going to be cooking this back at the house uh you know just to be safe just to minimize my time outside i gotta move my stuff back oh. <laughs> all right guys well here's our catch for today beautiful striped bass awesome i actually haven't uh haven't caught a striped bass in a while actually since i started my youtube channel um, i caught one before started it but haven't been targeting them too much but now i got one so now we're gonna go back to the balcony and we're gonna cook them up make some make something delicious with this striped bass Let's see what's got in his belly it's kind of fat Look at this. Ooh, his belly full of, look at anchovies. Yeah, anch anchovies. So much, look at that. Look at all these anchovies that the striper was eating. All came from his belly, all of that. Jeez, that's like 30 anchovies there, at least. All right, I'm gonna go wash this off. All right, now we're back. This video is sponsored by Bespoke Post. Let me just quickly tell you about them before we move on. So they are a subscription box introducing people to cool new products each and every month. Each of their boxes are worth at least $70, but you only pay $45. And they're actually really cool because if you don't like uh, any of the 12 boxes or the, all the options that they have every month, they allow you to skip the month. So you don't lose anything. Just to show you a couple of the things that they do have, I chose a couple boxes for myself. First one is this windbreaker. Really dope windbreaker. Always need a good windbreaker, especially when you're out on the surf fishing. And the next one is this champagne saber kit. Comes with a couple beautiful champagne glasses made in Italy and also this saber. Oh, I just realized I just got another knife. I've always wanted to pop the champagne bottle with the knife and I've never done it before so today's gonna be a first for me and I we're popping champagne because May is a big month for us here at Outdoor Chef Life but I'll tell you a little bit more about that later thank you Bespoke Post for sponsoring this video now let's get back to the video It is hot today and it's definitely the hottest day of the year so far and I wanted something refreshing. I'm feeling like, you know, a cold dish today. So we're going to do a Vietnamese style vermicelli noodles. So usually they use pork or beef, but we're going to use the striped bass today. All right, first, let's get to filet. I have my striped bass on ice. Here we go. Whew, it is hot. All right, first I'm going to take the head off. off
There it is, baby. There's one fillet. All right, let's turn it around. Do the same thing. Trying to do this kind of fast because the sun is really hot. One portion there, two, three, four, yeah. There we go. I have the pan heating up and I have two portions of the striped bass here and I'm going to score the skin. Pretty close together. Olive oil on the fish as well. Salt and pepper. Generous amount, rub that in all into the scored parts too. Rub it in, get it on that side too. There we go. All right, I have the pan nice and hot over here. Now I'm just gonna lay it down and just hold it, hold it down for about 20 seconds. Put the other one on as well. All right, and that's only gonna take about uh, five minutes to cook. And you can see the color changing already. You can see that white starting to rise when it comes up two thirds of the way. I'm gonna flip it. All right. There we go, nice crispy skin, beautiful. That's why you want to hold it down so it doesn't curl. You can just put in that pressure down on all the way on the skin. It's gonna crisp up the whole thing. I just got this new pan courtesy of our place. If you guys want, I have an affiliate link. Really well made pans. Check the description below. And we're just gonna go two, three minutes on this side and should be done. You can kind of see it's still translucent right in the middle there. So we'll let it go just another minute. This one's about done though. Now we're gonna prep the vegetables. We got cucumber, perilla, mint, cherry tomato, culantro, Thai eggplant, radish, carrots, jalapeno, garlic, and lime. Well first, let's make the sauce. It's a fish sauce based sauce. Gonna need chili paste, garlic, lime, water and sugar. I'm going to put two tablespoons of fish sauce in this bowl and also two tablespoons of sugar and followed by a cup of water just right about. Chop up the garlic and we'll toss these bad boys in there. Squeeze some lime juice in there and finish it off with how much ever chili paste you like. Mix that around make sure all the sugar is dissolved and that's it your sauce is done. Now let's cut all the vegetables. Just gonna cut the top off. This is Thai eggplant. Cut it in half and I'll just slice that thinly. And that's it for that. Next, got some cucumber. Just gonna make some thinly sliced cucumber then slice it into little batons. Next, I'm gonna do the same thing with this radish. And as well as these carrots, I'm gonna do the same exact thing. Put that off to the side. Got these cherry tomatoes. Just gonna cut them in half and then just put it off to the side. This is culantro, and I'm just gonna cut it into about one inch size pieces. And this is perilla leaves, just gonna give that a nice rough chop and put that off to the side as well. Picking the mint leaves off the stem, 
and crumple that up and just give it a nice rough chop as well. And that's it. That's all the vegetables that we're going to prep. Oh, wait, actually, this is jalapeno. All right, now we're done. These are all the vegetables. Now we have a colorful array of vegetables and herbs. All right, well, we got everything prepped here, all the vegetables. Now, let's construct. I have here some vermicelli noodles. Peanuts. Sprinkle those right on the noodles, just like that. Plenty of cucumber, radish, carrots. These are Thai eggplants. Some cherry tomatoes. Plenty of, plenty of this stuff right here. This is perilla leaves. And I think the most important thing on this dish is the mint right here. Gotta have that mint. And I have my fish. Some jalapenos. You want jalapenos, right? A little bit. And let's finish it off with a little more peanuts on top of the fish. Ooh, some striped bass vermicelli noodles with garlic chili fish sauce. Ooh, we're just gonna be dumping that right on top. And, ooh, it's gonna be delicious. I was telling you earlier why we have champagne for the month of May. First of all, it was Jocelyn's birthday, May 2nd. Uh, second, it's my birthday, May 14th. Uh, third, I created Outdoor Chef Life channel two years ago on May 13th and posted the first video, uh, I think on May 27th, something like that. So two year anniversary for Outdoor Chef Life YouTube channel. And we also just reached 300,000 subscribers. So thank you guys so much. Thank you for all your support. I really appreciate it. I know I'm like waving this knife around, but it's, it's super dull. It's, it's, it's really blunt knife. So it's not a, it's not an actual cutting knife. But anyways, thank you guys so much for all your support. Uh, the past two years, you know, ever since I started the channel, I had so much tremendous support and I really appreciate each and every one of you for watching and staying with us. All right. And it will bring more, more and more content uh, as we go on here. So, I've never done this before. Uh, and I don't know how it's gonna go, to be honest. Maybe let me stand for this. Don't kill any more plants. This might be a total fail. <laughs> Let's give this a shot. One, two, <laughs> three. Yep, that was a fail. It's kinda, I hit it in the perfect spot, too. All right, I'm gonna do the other side, should I? I don't think you're supposed to do it twice. But, f yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs>
So midway through the cooking, we had to change to Jocelyn's phone. Well, I think the camera cut out, overheat again. It's literally so hot out here today. Uh, man, delicious meal. I think striped bass is underrated. Has almost a scallop-like texture if you cook it just right. And you know, with the noodles and all the herbs and mm. all that, you know, freshness. That's it's that's amazing. It's a perfect dish for a hot day like this. Yeah. And yeah. We also restocked on long sleeve dry fit t-shirts and new colors as well. We got navy and we got maroon as well. So if you like to get one yourself, outdoorchefwife.com, check it out. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Peace. Peace.